Hi, I'm Megan, and in light of the holiday season, we're going to talk about the history of Christmas. Christmas is supposed to be the celebration of Jesus' birth, but was Jesus really born on December 25th? Let's take a look. The New Testament gives no year or date to Jesus' birth. The earliest gospel, written about 65 CE, opens with Jesus' baptism as an adult. This means that early Christians had no knowledge of Jesus' birth date or year. The closest we've gotten to knowing Jesus' birth was determined by a man named Dionysus, a Scythian monk. In Luke 3, 1 through 23, it states that when Jesus was 30, it was the 15th year of Tiberius' reign. So, if Jesus was 30 in Tiberius' reign, that means he lived 15 years under the reign of Augustus, placing his birth 28 years into Augustus' reign. Now, Augustus took reign in 727 AUC, which means Dionysus is placing Jesus' birth at 754 AUC. Now with all that in mind, Luke 1.5 places Jesus' birth under the days of Herod. And Herod died in 750 AUC, which places Jesus' birth four years before Dionysus' calculation. So now that I've told you that, I'm going to tell you this. An anonymous document found in North Africa written at about 243 CE places Jesus' birth at the 28th of March. And a bishop of Alexandria thought Jesus was born on November 18th. Based on historical documents, another gentleman places Jesus' birth at September 11th, 3 BCE. So does anyone really know what Jesus' birthday is? Now, why do we celebrate Christmas on December 25th? Roman pagans introduced a holiday called Saturnula, which was a period of lawlessness celebrated December 17th through the 25th. During this period, the courts were closed, and the law states that no one could be punished for damage to property or person during the celebration. At the beginning of the ceremony, one person was picked to be the Lord of Misrule. And at the end of the ceremony, December 25th, this person was executed. The people believed that they were destroying the forces of evil. In the 4th century CE, Christian leaders supported the Saturnella festival, hoping to keep the pagan masses with it. Christian leaders successfully converted many pagans to Christianity by promising them that they could still celebrate the Saturnella festival as Christians. Now this posed a huge problem. There is nothing Christian about the Saturnella festival. So Christian leaders named the conclusion of the festival, December 25th, as Jesus' birthday. So because of this merging, the earliest Christmases were celebrated by drinking, having sex, and singing naked in the streets. This is actually a precursor to modern day caroling. So early Christians did not celebrate Christmas on December 25th thinking it was Jesus' birthday, but because the pagan and Christian religions decided to merge. Because of its pagan origins, Christmas was banned in Massachusetts between 1659 and 1681. However, Christmas was and still is celebrated by most Christians today. So in conclusion, the most popular Christmas customs, trees, mistletoe, presents, and even Santa Claus, are modern day representations of the most depraved, pagan rituals ever celebrated. In a future video, we're going to discuss the lighter version of Christmas history. Thank you for watching my video today, and I just wanted you guys to know how much I love Christmas, and I wish you all a very happy Christmas and a new year. Also, please leave your comments, rate my video, and subscribe to the channel.